Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma, heartbreak, and suffering so that you can have a magical life of your dreams. There are plenty of laws of the universe that are at play in any given moment. And I would really like to explain to you the law of detachment uh, from a different perspective. So one of the things about detachment is that, you know, <laughs> we let go. We accept what is. We are okay with what is. And thank you for joining me. I see you, Star. Um, so detachment is, it's a way to love. So we can love our, our, our friends. We can love our spouse. We can love our boyfriends, our girlfriends. We can love our children, our pets. Love them from a place of unconditional love, but from a place of detachment. Now, 20 or 30 years ago, if you had said this to me, I would have said, oh, are you crazy? No, I want to hang on to my guy. I've got to, you know, I've got to really hold on to him. Let him know that I love him. <laughs> Squeeze him, you know, until, you know, maybe he can't breathe. Let him know I really care. So when we're codependent, we don't have a clue what the law of detachment means. As a matter of fact, we cling. We, we tend to be jealous. We hang on for dear life. We try to control life and situations. But, you know, as we begin to evolve, we learn we really don't have control. And that's the truth. We don't really have control. However, what I will say is that we can let go and let God and let the universe take over. And I'll, I'll share a little story with you because this just happened yesterday. And, and I wanna add the caveat that the law of detachment speeds up the process of evolution exponentially. So if you can really understand how to use this law, then your evolution can be so much easier and the process sped up tremendously. Okay, so I had a friend, Denise, who um, I see frequently when I go to the Vine and dance, and she was dating a guy, and you know, their relationship, I, I won't say much about, but it was a, an up and down thing. And um, I gave her my, my wisest advice and just let it go. And eventually she broke up with this man and she was having some heartache and struggling. And she said to me, uh, would you like to go out Wednesday night? And I had a client scheduled for six o'clock. So six o'clock to seven, she wanted to leave around five, head to Ventura. She was going to pick me up. I said, I, I don't want to cancel my appointment with my client because when I cancel or reschedule, it makes my client, unless it's an absolute emergency, which this wasn't, it makes my client feel unimportant. And so I don't like to reschedule unless I absolutely have to. So if an emergency arises, that's another story. But so I try really hard to keep my appointments with my clients. And so I said, well, I don't feel comfortable canceling this appointment. So, you know, I, I guess I won't be going. And I just let it go. I let it be. I, I didn't think much more about it. And then, then later the day, yesterday, um, the appointment was for today. We were supposed to be going out tonight. And I got a message, an email from my client, the very one that I didn't want to cancel. And she said, you know, I went on your site. I have a calendar on my website. And she said, I went to change my appointment and I couldn't. So there is a 24 hour window where you have to cancel or change an appointment prior to that 24 hours. And she was just, just inside the 24 hour period. And, and so I said, no problem. It's okay. You know, reschedule the appointment. And so I just let go. Not only did I not try to reschedule my appointment, 
My client did it for me. Do you see what, what I mean? So the law of detachment, the opposite would be, and I can tell you how I used to be. I used to think uh, if somebody said something to me maybe that was mean or was negative, well, I would have to either write them a note or call them up and, and have a confrontation about it. And what I've recognized is that often all we have to do is think about it and look at what outcome we would like to have and just let it go and let God take over rather than feeling like we've got to, you know, we've got to beat this person into submission or we need to, we need to, you know, punch our, our, our point and opinion home. We don't have to do that. All we have to do is think the thought, I wonder how this could happen. I wonder how things could take care of themselves. I wonder how she could get this point without me saying anything. I wonder how a miracle could take place. And I didn't even do those things. I, I just said to my friend Denise, you know, I don't want to cancel the appointment. It doesn't feel right to me, so I'll just let it go. I guess I won't be going. And then I released it. I didn't sit with, oh, gee, I wish I could go with her. Um, I, I let it go. And so the law of detachment is a, is a process, if you want to call it that, of releasing. I didn't even say, oh, God, would you please take over? Would you take the wheel? Would you make this happen? I didn't do anything like that. I just let it go. And when we relinquish control, when we let go, miracles take place. Things happen without us doing anything. It is miraculous what can happen when we let go of control. Because we don't actually have control. We just think we do. I hope this explains the law of detachment. And what I will say is, so, so when you force solutions on problems, we make more problems. So if you feel, I've got to call this person up, I have to write them an email, I have to uh, message them, I have to send a notice of how I feel or the harm that they've caused, no, you don't because all you do by trying to make someone else see your point of view is create more problems. You can just release it, relax, let go, and let the universe take over. And the outcome will become far more miraculous than what we could ever imagine or conjure up. So this is the law of detachment. It affects our relationships. It affects um, the, the outcome of situations. It can affect problems. It will help to uh, magically make things materialize for you on your behalf. And you really don't have to do anything. It's more a matter of if you've ever either ridden a bicycle or you've been on a horse, when you hold the reins, <laughs> when you hold the reins too tight, the horse can't move and the horse starts flicking its head back and forth. Anybody that are horse people that are watching this, the horse is almost like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And, and the horse will start thrashing because you're holding the reins too tight. But when you let go of the reins, the horse gets into a natural gait where everything is easy. Well, the same thing, you know, when you are riding a bicycle and you're holding on to the, the, the grips, the handle grips, and you're gripping them so tight, what happens? Well, the bike will start to shake. Maybe you'll even have a, an accident or fall because you're trying to make something happen. You're trying to force an outcome. And what you will find is if you just let go, grace flows through, the universe takes over, or God takes over, and the outcome is far greater. Okay, let me just see. 
<laughs> I am glad you needed to hear this today. Well, uh, this has come through over the last 24 hours, so um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, share it with a friend. Um, sending you so much love today, and I hope that you will enjoy relaxing into the law of detachment where we let go and we just let the universe take over because the universe and God know exactly what to do. They know what's in our heart. They know what we desire. And there's no need to force a situation. There's no need to make something happen. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. My website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com and you might want to visit. There's uh, some free downloads there and I have free resources. And if you scroll down to the bottom, well, there's several different things on there. There's relief for depression and there's free blog posts that will help you. Um, and uh, I think you'll find lots, lots on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com, that will help you understand what's going on in your life right now, help you to evolve more quickly, more peacefully, with less suffering, and that's the goal. Change is inevitable, suffering is optional. Sending you so much love. Mwah. Thanks for watching.